Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In the previous video, I showed you how to use parameter modulation using an audio control signal or side chaining. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use an LFO instead, which is a low frequency oscillator. As you can see, it moves on its own. We can adjust the baseline right here, and let's see what it sounds like. As you can see, it moves very far. We can control that or contain it by adjusting the strength. So the range isn't as far. Then we can use the baseline to adjust the center. Now we can adjust the speed right here. Right now it's free flowing. But we could also sync it to the song tempo. Just choose it here and change it to quarter notes. Or half notes. Or even eighth notes. Let's put it back to half notes. And we could also change the direction. So right now it's positive. But we could reverse it to be negative. Or we could adjust the phase right here. Now down over here, we could change the phase reset. Right now, it restarts every time I hit play. It's not free running, but we could change it right here. And it's not going to reseek every time we hit play. We could change the shape. Right now it's moving in a sine wave. We could change it to square, and now it moves in two positions. Let's make this faster. Pretty cool effect. We could choose saw wave. And it moves from the right to the left or the opposite. And it moves right. We could also choose triangle or random. So that's using the LFO to control the modulation. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to link it from another effects parameter. Thanks.